Good morning. It is Monday morning, February the 7th, 2022, and this is day 37 of our 40 days of prayer. Again, these were written by and produced by our parent denomination, the Alliance. This morning, the key verse comes from Titus chapter 2 and verse 13, where it says this, As we await the blessed hope and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. This devotional today is entitled, Christ is Coming as the Realization of Our Hope, and was written by Celine Bauer. Celine writes these words, My family and I have lived abroad for many years, serving in places where hope is dim. Life in a secular, first world country easily brings superficial satisfaction. Culture and context have a way of in indirectly invading our perspective. All too often, I have described hope as being a personal yearning for a desired outcome. This definition misses the mark because the modern-day idea of hope is quite different from the biblical meaning of hope. In Scripture, the word hope is the confident expectation of what God has promised. The blessed hope speaks of the confidence of the imminent return of Jesus Christ. The promise of Christ's return for his church empowers us to be present in our current context with joy, confidence, and expectation. The blessed hope enables us to see God's goodness and points us to the unmerited grace of God. While we wait for the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our redemption, Paul reminds us to live in the light of the return of Christ, always looking for the blessed hope because it challenges us to maintain integrity in character and godliness in our life, relationships, actions, and words. The faithful waiting and anticipation of his return brings joy and hope to our hearts. His spirit is in us. May his coming be the realization of our hope. Again, there are three prayer points for today. Number one, welcome his presence into your mind and heart. Ask his spirit to illuminate areas where you have placed your hope in other things and people. Number two, pray that the Holy Spirit will restore his blessed hope in you. And three, embrace the promise of Christ's return with joy, confidence, and expectation. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for the blessed hope of the return of Jesus. Father, <clears throat> in this year of great uncertainty, Help us to have a hope that the world simply does not have. Help us to look to you. Help us to trust you. Help us to believe in your promise that Jesus is coming back. We thank you and we pray. In Jesus' name we ask these things. Amen. <clears throat> well, again, we thank you for joining us for just a few moments. We're almost done with our 30 days of prayer. So please share these and please join us for the remaining couple of days. Thank you.